All right, let's take a look at the Samsung U28E 510D. Um, this is the computer monitor you're going to be seeing at Costco. Um, I purchased it there for $250. Uh, it's a full 4K monitor. This monitor is also wall mountable. It's VESA compliant, so if you want to wall mount it, you can. Um, as far as the profile of it, it's still relatively thin. Um, I'd say it's like an inch thick at the top and probably two inches thick at the widest point. I really like about this is the anti-reflective screen on it so it's pretty matte I've got a uh, big window right in my office right behind me and it gives a lot of sunlight and stuff in and with this monitor it doesn't bother me so that's a big plus all right so let's take a look at the base base is pretty nice looking um, pretty sturdy as well I know that was a big complaint on the previous generation Samsung is that the base was a little wobbly. Um, this is pretty sturdy. So I mean, if you get a kind of rock it, I mean, it will rock a little bit, but it's sturdy enough to where it's, if you're like moving the desk, it doesn't really move at all. Got my hand on the desk, trying to move, move the desk and the monitor doesn't move at all. So that's nice. So I use this computer monitor for gaming. Um, the thing I like about the monitor, um, what made me select it, I, I tried other monitors in the past that are edge lit, which means that the lighting comes from the edge of the monitor. Um, the only problem with that is if there's like a dark area of the screen, um, there's no lighting control. This, this monitor has a backlit LED, so there's LEDs behind the whole panel and that allows the monitor to control different types of lighting in the screen so if there's like a bright area of the screen by like this flame here where the mouse is the leds can really light up and brighten up uh, to push that output or if you have a dark region like the stairs it can give you a deeper black next to a brighter white so it'll give you a, a good contrast and overall good uniformity so uh, picture wise and detail wise i think this monitor is very nice um, browse a lot of internet and stuff on it as well. Internet looks good. It's bright. Uh, it's detailed. It's clear. This monitor has a one touch menu system, which is really easy to operate. So it's just right behind this back corner of the monitor. Um, you click it and you've got different video settings. So you can adjust contrast, brightness, sharpness, color. Um, there's different inputs, so you can select the HDMI 1, 2, or that other weird UHDMI. Um, different AV modes, so it comes with uh, custom where you can finely tune it. Or you can go like preset settings like standard, cinema, dynamic contrast. Um, there's HDMI black level controls. I've got mine set on low, but you can adjust that to normal which gives it more of like a I don't know, more of a grayscale more of like a washed out look so I prefer a little deeper contrast deeper black level um, there's a game mode there's an eye saver so it kind of washes it out tones it down for your eyes don't care for that uh, there's also game mode to make it really 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 bright so I've got those settings off different response times I've got mine on faster there's fastest there's standard I think that's kind of like the the Hertz, like the 120 Hertz, where it kind of adds frames or something like that. I don't know exactly what it means, but it does kind of mess with the frame rate a little bit. I have mine set in the middle. Picture-in-picture uh, -picture modes. I don't know what that would be for. Maybe for like dual video monitoring or something like that. I haven't messed around with it much, but it has it. languages um, has automatic detection as well so when you power your computer off the monitor shuts down you don't have to turn it off or anything like that yeah 
And the resolution on it is 3840 by 2160, so about 8 million pixels versus uh, 1080p is like 2 million pixels, so four times the resolution. Uh, the old monitor I had was 16, what, 1650 by like uh, 1080 or something like that. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, my recommendation of this monitor, aesthetically, the cabinet looks good. The price is great. The quality of the image is good. It's a great overall performing monitor, especially for the money for what you get. So, anyway, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you next time.